Hello, my name is Judy Human, and I'm the Special Advisor for International Disability Rights at the United States Department of State. I'm so sorry I can't join you in person today, but I really appreciate your letting me have the chance to speak with you from Washington, D.C. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the Taiwan Association for Disability Rights, Taipei City, and the Ministry of Culture for organizing this important conference. I'd also like to give particular thanks to Grace Chang, who I had the pleasure to meet several years ago and whose work and leadership I greatly admire. We still have much to do to safeguard the rights and inclusion in society of disabled people around the world, including in both the United States and Taiwan. I want to thank you all for your tireless work to help ensure that disability rights is and remains an international priority. The topic of your conference, Disability Culture, is an interesting and important one, which does not always receive the attention it deserves. When I think of disability culture, I recognize that it can mean different things to different people. Like all cultures, it can be very specific and locally defined and understood. It is also subject to change over time. One of the changes I'm most proud of is the claiming of our cultures by disabled people ourselves. I believe it is very important that disability culture be something that we, as disabled people, define ourselves, not something defined for us by others. How we express our culture is also important, and I understand that this also is a topic of exploration at the conference. Whether through literature, fine arts, the performing arts, museums, the media, or just through our everyday interactions with other people, there are many ways through which we as disabled people should be able to express ourselves and claim and shape our culture. We should also use these opportunities to help non-disabled people better understand our lives, our life experiences, our challenges and opportunities. After all, ours is a group that is open for everyone to potentially join. I'm very impressed by the people who will be presenting over the next two days. This is an opportunity to not only learn and discuss, but to turn these discussions into action. In my view, cultural change does not happen quickly. For those of us with disabilities or for family members and friends, who are supporting our efforts for equality, change takes a long time. Breaking with long-established cultural beliefs that have resulted in discrimination against disabled people is not only difficult, but it requires an inner strength and collaboration from all of us with disabilities. Participating in the performing arts, the media, museums, etc., requires accessibility for those of us with various disabilities. All too frequently, we see that the buildings being built, the films being shown, and the theater performances are not fully accessible. We need to be able to work together to ensure that these barriers are removed so that people can participate in their communities and gain or expand the knowledge in these venues. We know that there are disabled people who are creative, and able to express who we are, who our community is, the joy and sorrow we experience because of our disabilities. Their creativity must be shared with the world. Your work over the next few days will help to expand the growing cultural diversity occurring across the globe as we define, refine, and gain power through our expression of diversity. Thank you again for this chance to join you, even if only virtually. I wish you all success in the conference, and I look forward to learning of the opportunities from your discussions. Thank you again.